Okay, for number 11, uh, now we have some different information. We're still doing the same thing for 11B. We still want to figure out which one is better, which one gives you more interest. We've got a $50 invested at 6% compounded monthly. So again, whenever you see monthly, yearly, quarterly, those kind of keywords, you got to use this formula, compound interest formula. We're going to put in our uh, P, your principal, which is 50. 1 plus R over N, your rate is 0 0.06. Uh, now monthly we have. Now monthly means that that happens 12 times in one year. So we're going to put a 12 there uh, for your N, and the 12 also goes up here as well. You're multiplying that again by, uh, we have the same time, three years. So this is how we set up that first one. So we're going to first do the inside part. So 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12. Uh, and if you do that, you're going to get 1.005, and that's going to be raised to the 36th power. This, we're going to put that into our calculator, and what results is $59.83. For the next one, uh, we, we have compounded continuously, so we're going to use 5.9%, so we're going to do area equals 50 E, we're still going to move the decimal place over, two places to the left, so we get 0 .059, and then times three, so that would be your setup. We're going to do the exponent part, 0 .059 times three, and we get 0.177. And if you put that into your calculator, you get $59.68, so these are pretty close. Um, however, we make a little bit more interest, it's not much, a few cents difference, but we do make more with A. So I would answer A this time uh, with that one. So you're just going to have to do each formula uh, and just compare the two results and indicate which one uh, gives more interest. So the answer here would be A.